Hey everybody, I'm Miss Christine, and this is the Little Kids Zone Treehouse Online. I'm so excited that you guys are back for yet another week with me. This is the place that we come to learn about how God made me, how God loves me, and how Jesus wants to be our forever friend. How awesome is that? Can we all stand up and sing our welcome song? been learning? We've been learning how I can follow Jesus. How you can follow Jesus, how your brothers can follow Jesus, how your sisters can follow Jesus, your friends, your family, everybody can follow Jesus. How great is that? And we know that Jesus wants to be our forever friend. So let's sing a song about how awesome it is, about how God made us, and how he wants to be our friend forever. All right, guys, our first song starts out really slow, and then it goes really, really, really fast. So let's sing it and do it. God made me and he loves me so and he is my friend forever God made me and he loves me so and he is my friend forever and it makes me jump up high fall down low spin around in a circle run run fast and walk walk slow stop lift my hands and shine Can we go faster here we go God made me and he loves me so and he is my friend forever God made me and he loves me so and he is my friend forever and it makes me jump up high fall down low spin around in a circle run run fast walk walk slow stop with my hands and shine even faster God made me and he loves me so and he is my friend forever God made me and he loves me so and he is my friend forever And it makes me jump up high, fall down low Spin around in a circle, run run fast, walk walk slow Stop with my hands and shine Alright, let's be trained Oh You shine, let's sing it one more time. time. Fastest ever. God made me and loves me so, and he is my friend forever. God made me and loves me so, and he is my friend forever. And it makes me jump up high, fall down low, spin around in a circle, run, run fast, walk, walk slow, stop with my hands and shine. And it makes me jump up high, fall down low, spin around in a circle, run, run fast, walk, walk slow, stop, lift my hands and shine. You guys are such amazing singers. Thank you for helping me worship our awesome, awesome God. Let's sing one more song together. on 
Crisscross applesauce for our memory verse. All right, so when we go to our memory verse, it's Matthew 4:19. We find it in the Bible, right? We know the Bible is true. It's made up of lots of little stories and little books. And this little book that we're reading our memory verse from is Matthew. So we go to Matthew 4:19, and can you help me? says, come and follow me, Jesus said. All right, let's say that together a little louder. Come and follow me, Jesus said. Very good, that's Matthew 4, 19. It is so awesome that we get to follow Jesus together and we can always count on him to be there for us. All right, everybody. Let me see those hands of yours. I see your hands. Can you wiggle your fingers? Good job. All right, open your hands. Shut them. Open, shut. Now give your hands a clap. Open, shut. Open, shut them. Now lay them in your lap. Let's pray. Dear God, we are so thankful that you love us and that you lead us every single day. We thank you for guiding us and each other through life and always being our friend forever. Amen. Awesome. Now let's put on those listening ears for our story this week. Hi, Little Kids Own Treehouse friends. I'm so glad that you tuned in again this week 
to sing and worship our Jesus. Are you guys ready to hear a true story straight from the Bible? You are awesome. Well, we know that the Bible is a big, big book and it has lots of little small books in it. And today we are talking about the little small book of John. And in the book of John, Jesus sits down at a big table and he starts eating and talking with his 12 special friends. 12, wow. Now last week we talked about these 12 special friends. Do you remember what they are called? Disciples. These are Jesus' disciples. And as Jesus is sitting down with these disciples and eating with them, he walks over to a table and he grabs a bucket and he fills up his bucket with water. And he takes this bucket and he kneels down beside his 12 disciples, his friends, and he starts to wash their feet. Have you guys ever ran outside with no shoes on? And when you came back inside, were your feet clean? No. Were your feet dirty? Yes. Were they stinky? Probably. Well, back when Jesus was sitting down with his friends, his special friends all had stinky and dirty feet. So as Jesus is washing his friends' feet, his friends, his disciples, they kind of start to feel bad and they think, why is Jesus the man who heals people? The man who loves people, the man who makes the person that can't get up and walk be able to walk. Why is this guy on the ground washing my feet? They thought we should be washing Jesus' feet. Wow, how cool that Jesus was on the ground washing his friend's feet. Jesus was the greatest servant. He was always serving others. He was always loving others. He was taking care of others. He was so good at loving other people. And after Jesus was finished washing his friend's feet, he stood up and he told his 12 friends, the disciples, one very important thing. The most important thing, Jesus said, this is what I want you to do. Can you guys guess what it is? If you have your sister or your brother or your mom or your dad or your grandpa or your grandma around you, I want you to guess. Go ahead and say it to them. Well, Jesus told them, are you guys ready for it? To love one another to love one another. Jesus said the most important thing to do is love one another the way he loved others. Wow, so if we wanna follow Jesus, we get to love others. And Jesus is the perfect example of that. Jesus loved people who didn't have a lot of money. He loved people who were hungry. He loved people who were sick. He loved people like Zacchaeus, who didn't have a lot of friends. It was a tax collector. He loved others. And Jesus loves you, and Jesus loves me. Jesus loves everyone. What are some ways that we can show others that we love them? What if you're out for a walk with your family and you're walking down the sidewalk and you see another family, or maybe just a boy or a girl, you can walk and say, Hi, hello, Jesus loves you. Or let's say you have a neighbor that is in their house and they might be older. Can you write a card and draw a pretty picture on it and let them know that Jesus loves them? There are so many ways to let others know that you love them. So what is the greatest thing that we need to do if we wanna follow Jesus? Love one another. What is it? love one another. Can you say that to your sister or your brother or your mom and dad? We need to love one another. That's right. Well, I hope today and I hope this week you can come up with some ways to love 
others. All right, let me see your fingers. Let's go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give your hands a clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us. Help us to love others throughout this day, this week, and this year. We love you, Lord. Amen. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you have a great rest of the day. And remember, try to love one another.